So just to recap, I purchased a 1904 contract Portuguese Mauser from Atlantic Firearms. Came as part of a deal with 945 rounds of ammunition and a bayonet. I'll have the video of the initial inspection in the description for you to check out. But here it is all broken down. You can see it's got not too much cosmoline, but a good amount. Should help protect a lot of these parts. The bolt did come apart a bit differently than I'm used to with Mauser rifles. There's this bolt head that comes out, so it's just kind of different from what you'd expect. Most Mauser bolts come apart at the rear instead of in the front. I was pretty happy though with how it comes apart. I mean, it's definitely a good design. You can see that these rings basically come off from the springs on the stock and this actually screws off with a screw instead of having to punch it out which is pretty handy. The spring and follower are in good shape. You can see some cosmoline here in the top hand guard. Looks to be in good shape as well. Barrel looks good, it's got plenty of cosmoline on it. There is a little bit of what well, looks like pitting here but when I clean it up I'll take a closer look at it. Butt plate's in good shape. And then I put all the little screws and everything in a tin can so I don't lose them. But all the screws came out pretty easily, which is a good sign. As far as the stock goes, it's kind of oily, but in good shape. You can see there was, looks like a stock repair here. But it looks like it's in good shape. It's got plenty of cosmoline in it, I'll have to clean out. All right, so I got all the parts cleaned up. Got all the Cosmoline off of them. Basically just used some Ballastol, wiped them down. Did use some really fine steel wool to help get it off. And then I just wiped down with a rag. Parts look pretty good, finish looks pretty good. A couple little spots of minor pitting in some areas that were exposed, but not too bad, you can see a little bit of pitting here in the trigger guard where it met the wood. But overall, pretty good shape for something that's about 120 years old. Stock's looking pretty good. Cleaned it up with some Murphy's Oil Soap and I put a coat of boiled linseed oil on it. You can see some of the boiled linseed oil is still on it. I'll let it sit and do another wipe. I highly recommend taking out these springs here. I took them out, cleaned them out, put them back in, but there was a little bit of rust on these, and there are these really thin pins that hold them in, so you want to make sure those get cleaned and don't corrode. But it cleaned up pretty nicely. Got the receiver and the barrel cleaned up. There is some pitting present, but nothing deep enough to worry about. Finish looks great otherwise. See a little bit more pitting here on the rear sight base. And a little bit of pitting here where the wood met the receiver. But that's not really surprising considering the age of the rifle. So go ahead and reassemble it, show you how it looks. Alright, so here it is all reassembled. Take a closer look at how it turned out. Stock looks pretty good. Still has a little bit of oil kind of in there that eventually seep up and get wiped off. You can see that um, the linseed oil did a pretty good job with the stock as well as the Murphy's oil soap. Definitely cleaned up pretty nice. See the finish looks pretty good on it, as well as the stock. See the stock, all these parts match with the 9 serial number. And 
our site looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn over. Looks pretty good on this side as well. There's a little bit of a storage ding here. And you can see right here is where it has a manufacturer mark. From DWM 1904, and originally it was a 6.5 millimeter, where they converted it to 8 millimeter. And it's got a really beautiful crown right here for the Portuguese crown. This side looks pretty good. A little bit of wear here in the wood where the pins are for the two springs. That does tend to happen with the steel pins and wood. It also looks like there's some hammer marks here. I assume it was at some point they tried to get this band off and they just hit it with a hammer or something, but I'm not really sure why that's there because for some reason they had to tap that band off. Definitely like the bolt on this rifle. Very smooth. Somewhat of a unique design with the bolt head here rotating. Not very common with Mauser rifles, but this is a very smooth bolt. As far as the bayonet goes, I really haven't done much with it. I just basically sprayed it down with some ballastol, wiped it off. See the screws here definitely need to come out and get cleaned out. Probably make a tool out of just like a thin piece of metal. Basically take those out. But the blade's in really nice shape. Put a little bit of chalk in it so you can see, but looks like this was made in Seoul, Germany. And the bayonet hasn't been sharpened or anything, so again the blade's in really good shape. The scabbard's in really nice shape too. It's got a lot of original finish left. Some scratches and stuff from use, but otherwise looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bore. As you can see, the bore looks pretty good. It's very nice condition. It probably wasn't fired too much, especially after it was converted in 1939. Now they got a whole bunch of K98s in from Germany in 1939 and 1941. So it's likely they used those more and relegated these to either get put in storage or to units that just didn't really use them that much. So overall, I'd say these are great buys. If you run into them again, Atlantic Firearms right now is out of stock, but if they ever do restock or if you see these out there, I'd definitely grab one. They're really nice to add to your Mauser collection. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this rifle, feel free to drop in the comments. I'll have some more projects coming up and a new addition to my collection. I'll be putting a video out soon. So if you'd like to see those, feel free to subscribe and sign up for alerts. And as always, thank you for watching.